A second popular quest here to the cinnamaldehyde from cinnamon using steam distillation. Welcome back to another episode, and um, today we'll be getting cinnamaldehyde from cinnamon. And um, if you didn't know this, cinnamon is actually my favorite um, spice because it smells nice and also tastes good. And uh, yeah, and uh, I just have to do this, so um. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's a taste. Oh, it's really spicy. Powerful smell. Well, um, yeah, that's not pleasant. Um, don't chew on, um, cinnamon, I guess. But at least I know that that cinnamon has a lot of cinnamaldehyde in it. So, um, yeah, um, let's get on with the actual extraction. So you need cinnamon, an extraction solvent, chloroform, or ether, both work very well, and water, and uh, that's literally it. So first, murder your cinnamon by um, turning it into a powder, and um, I have 80, 88 grams, I'm um, sorry for the sideways footage, I can't really do anything about that. So next, um, in your flask, you want about um, the same or slightly more amount of water, ideally not really a sludge, but more of a slurry. And um, then just set up for normal distillation. And um, this is a very crude form of steam distillation, but it works fairly well. And yeah, there was sort of a foam over at the beginning, but that's fine. And you can see our cinnamon, um, no, our distillate is cloudy because of cinnamaldehyde in our water, so cinnamon water. <laughs> yeah, um, it also smells very nice. And I'm on top, I have a dripping funnel with more water because steam distillation, like, it's the steam doing the work. And, uh, yeah, that's sort of the setup, just like, match the, um, dripping speed. And, um, yeah, um, you can definitely smell the cinnamon, the whole lab smelled like it, in fact, and uh, it was lovely. So next, take your cinnamon water and add it into a separate toy funnel, and um, add in your extraction solvent of choice, minus chloroform once again, because it is easy for me to acquire, and um, ether sort of too volatile for um, my liking. So just shake it up. And um, if you're using ether, make sure to vent very frequently with chloroform. You don't have to do it as much. And um, a note about the um, separation layers. For ether, you want the top layer, not the bottom layer. And for chloroform, you want the bottom layer. But chloroform is more dense than water. Ether is lighter than water. So just separate, se separate it. And um, I got lazy and just poured the chloroform directly into the um, cinnamon water and just separatory, separatory funnel all that. And um, take your um, solvent with the cinnamaldehyde and just add in a drying agent. I use magnesium sulfate because it's better than calcium chloride. Uh, you cannot change my mind on that. I hate calcium chloride. Magnesium sulfate just works so much better. So now um, distill off your solvent. You could just evaporate it off too, but that's a waste of solvent really. And um, you can see it foamed up. And um, we're left with a tiny bit now, so I'm gonna add it to a beaker and evaporate it off that much because that's not really loss of solvent. And I tried to dry it further by removing chloroform and water under vacuum, but it didn't really work well. So um, here's our yield of slightly wet cinnamaldehyde, and I'd say it's around 5 milliliters or so. Not too bad, but uh, yeah, we can definitely improve that. Okay, so this is version 2 of the setup, and this is like a typical steam distillation. You'd see you have a steam generator, the actual boiling flask with the stuff inside, and you bubble the steam through the hot... um water with the cinnamaldehyde, or cinnamon, and um, it just distills out. And uh, I have an air pump on there, I later removed that and just plugged the steam directly into that instead because that was a lot more efficient. And um, you can see that our cinnamaldehyde water is condensing, however with the air pump it actually um, let off quite a lot of steam through the condenser because, well, water takes quite a lot of um, energy to cool down and condense. So. Um, yeah, I ended up not using that. But you can see that the cinnamaldehyde coming over actually separated from the water by itself pretty well already. While um, the normal one didn't do much of that. And um, I'm just going to put that um, adapter on the end of it to um, hopefully condense more of the steam down. And um, the hot plate's just set to um, 100 degrees or so to keep the solution hot so there's less um, water condensing in than distilling out. And, uh, yeah. Um... Norm ideally, um, for this, you would instead just, like, run the steam through, like, um, cinnamon powder. Like, not too fine, but, yeah. So, um, here's the cinnamon high. It's not really too much of a yield improvement, I would say, but... Yeah, it might be worth, depending on what you're doing. 
And, um, yeah, this definitely isn't really very viable for um, cinnamon, although I did get mine for very cheap. Um, if you want cinnamon hot, you could cinnamon out of hot, you could just buy it or make it, well, making it, obviously, is gonna be a pain. You need bins out of hide, and, like, you sort of make, you sometimes make bins out of hide from cinnamon out of hide, and, uh, yeah, all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, that was this video, and, um, yeah, I guess that, that's it. So, um, see ya. Lab smell like hell's ass all big sulfur and everything. Look at this adapter. Look at this stopper. Look at the safety glasses. What the hell, man? And thanks to the bloody sulfur chlorides, everything in this lab is rusty. Three policemen turn up, and I'm pretty sure the only reason I didn't get arrested was this whole place smelled like shit. Eat mega shit dicks.